The beauty niche is one that is on the rise and it's showing absolutely no signs of slowing down. You know, your beauty. So one sub niche below that is actually the skincare niche. The skincare niche lately has been absolutely exploding with brand new products coming out each and every week. So today's video is gonna focus on some of the most popular products in the skincare business and how you can take it a step further by private labeling them. So if that's something that interests you, if you've been looking to start your own skincare brand, then make sure you check out this video all the way through because on top of all of that, I'm also gonna include a few extra suppliers so that way you know exactly where you can source your products from. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started, let's clarify exactly what is private labeling? Well, private labeling is simply the ability to be able to brand your own products that somebody else makes. So with private labeling, you have the option to go to the manufacturer and tell them, look, I want this skincare product. I want this skincare cream, but I want it with my logo on it. I want these colors on the packaging and I don't want you to include this particular ingredient. And then the manufacturer will get to work on that. Now, that's not to be confused with white label products. What white labeling is, it's pretty much the same thing, except at the end of the day, the manufacturer is going to have the final say on what can and can't be done. So while they are going to be able to provide you with quite the range of customization options, those options are pretty much universal and can be given to everybody. So from here, you're pretty much going to have to be picking and choosing, not specifically specifying what you want, specifically specifying. All right not specifying exactly what you want. Now, just be aware that with private labeling, depending on how deep you want your customization to be, there could potentially be a minimum order quantity. Now, that's not to say that every single manufacturer that you work with is gonna have a minimum order quantity, but just keep that in mind. The more customized a product is gonna be, the more likelihood there is that there is gonna be some sort of minimum order quantity. Now, to get our private label skincare store up and running or our own branded skincare products, there are seven easy steps that we need to follow. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is do your product research. You need to make sure that you're offering some of the best quality products, especially if it's for somebody's skin. Remember, if somebody's coming to your store to purchase skincare products, that means they either want to heal or maintain their skin. In either case, they obviously don't wanna make it any worse by using some cheap products that could potentially make them break out. So you always wanna make sure that you have high quality products. Now, that leads me to my second step. How can you ensure high quality products? Well, for one, you can test the products yourself, but two, you can make sure that you partner with a proven and trusted supplier. Now there's tons of different suppliers out there that you can work with, some of which I'll be naming a little bit later on in this video, but this step is absolutely crucial. You need to make sure you establish that relationship with your supplier and you need to make sure that they have high quality products. Step number three is to actually set up your own store. So where are you gonna start selling these products? Some of the most popular platforms to start a skincare line are gonna include Amazon and your own website on Shopify. The other option is also eBay. You can get started on eBay, but the first two are gonna be the higher likelihood of getting sales because those platforms are more tailored to that demographic of people. Then after you have all of this set up, after you know what products you wanna sell and after you have your suppliers ready to go, then the next thing you need to do is start importing your products into your store. There's two different ways to go about this. You can either do everything manually yourself, so save and upload all of the different pictures, type up your titles, type up your descriptions, all of the variations, do the math for your profits and get everything done manually. Now that's fine and all, but it's gonna take a long time. The other option, option number two, is through automation. With automation, you can streamline the entire process from building your own store using AI to importing your products and fulfilling orders using automation, AutoDS will take care of pretty much the entire thing for you. So that way, all you have to do is really focus and dial down on your products, your marketing, and your branding. Then the next thing you need to do is to start marketing your brand. So you need to start getting on TikTok, start getting on Facebook, start running some Facebook ads, some Snapchat ads, a little bit of everything, some free and some paid marketing to be able to start getting your products in front of the eyes of new people. Now this step is gonna be a bit more crucial if you have your own website. So if you're drop shipping on Amazon or if you're selling your different products on Amazon, then you are gonna have free organic traffic. People go on Amazon looking for specific products ready to make a sale. But if you're selling on your own Shopify store, people aren't gonna know that your website is there. So it's up to you to bring that traffic in. If you don't do this, then you're not gonna be getting any sales in your Shopify store. And number seven, finally, make sure that you have the best 
customer service. So when it comes to our dropshipping stores, customer service is going to reign supreme. If we don't have good customer service, then our customers are not going to shop from us. Think about it this way. They've never heard of your store and they go into your store, they talk to somebody and they're met with either pushback or somebody being rude or somebody just taking a day or two to reply back to them. What's this person going to do? They're going to leave your store and they're going to go to another store. Now, if it takes you a long time to reply back to your customer, chances are they might even forget that they wrote to you in the first place. So one way that we can remedy this is by making sure that we have good suppliers. When we have good suppliers, that ensures that we have good communication. Good communication means we're going to be getting a response within 24 hours, which means that we can give our customers a response within 24 hours as well. Now, all of these different tips that I just covered are going to be available in our cheat sheet. In that cheat sheet, I'm also going to have all of the different links to the different products and the suppliers that I'm going to be going over in this video. So if you want access to that, just go ahead and comment down below the hashtag dropshipping and let me know what your takeaway was from this video. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. All right, so getting started with the top products to dropship in the skincare niche. The first one is going to be body oil. Glow, baby. Body oil is one of the most versatile products in this niche, and it's used from everything from home care to even places like massage parlors and more. Now, body oil leaves people's skin with some of a luxurious and smooth feel, which some people absolutely love. Me personally, I hate it and I can't stand it. I can't stand the feeling of sliminess or, you know, when you get something like olive oil on your hands and it becomes all slippery and ugh, I don't like it. I hate it. I can't do that. I'm sorry. It kind of just icks me out. But there's a huge demographic of people for this. Now, on top of giving your skin that smooth feel, it also really does help hydrate. A lot of these different ones have different vitamins and minerals, all of which can be very beneficial to somebody's skin. Now, at number two, we have facial cleansers. Facial cleansers can come in a few different variations from foams to sprays to even little bars like these little soap bars. Now, different facial cleansers actually have different healing properties. So some are going to be good for dry skin. Others are going to be good for things like acne and the list goes on. There's tons of different skin concerns, all of which there's different types of facial cleansers that can help with. Next up, we have serums. Serums are these tightly packed formulations of different types of ingredients, different types of minerals and different types of vitamins, all of which are to help your skin. Different types of serums are used for different benefits. So just like your facial cleansers and your serums, some are going to be for rough, dry skin. Others are going to be for cracked skin, acne. And again, the list goes on. Now, the thing about serums is that they actually have specific vitamins and minerals that you can sell. So for example, they have serums of concentrated vitamin C that's supposed to help with things like skin glow. So this in itself can give you a huge variety of products that you can sell and a huge variety of different bundles that you can offer. So you can offer different types of serums together for different beneficial properties. Next up at number four, we have face masks. Have you ever seen on TV, somebody's just chilling on the couch and their wife or partner just walks in with a totally green face and it scares the living daylights out of the person that's sitting down? <gasps> Oh, that's exactly what we're talking about. Face masks. Now, for the most part, these are going to be, of course, for your face. But the biggest property on here is going to be hydration. A lot of people use these to hydrate their faces and even apply a few different vitamins and minerals. Now, when it comes to face masks, there's two different types that you can offer. There's going to be the sheet masks, which are the ones that come in a little sheet that you simply just lay on your face. And then there's going to be the second option, which either comes in a clay or a cream, which you're going to spread around your face or not you, but your customers. Or maybe you, if you decide to make TikTok videos on this to promote your products. Do I still look sexy? At number five, we have sunscreen. Sunscreen, everyone knows what sunscreen is. But did you know that they have different levels of sunscreen for different ages? Well, I found that out when I became a parent. They have kids sunscreens. They have sunscreens for adults. They have sunscreens for people that have sensitive skin. They have sunscreens for people that are a bit of a darker complexion. There is a sunscreen for everything. The SPF on it is what's going to vary throughout all of them. So make sure that when you offer these in your store, you categorize them through SPF levels along with age range. So offer some for kids while you offer the others for adults. You have SPF 50, SPF 100, SPF 150, whatever it is that you have to offer. Now, as a quick tip, people purchase sunscreen primarily when they're on the way to the beach or to the pool. So you can offer this as a bundle with something else, like let's say a moisturizing cream that they can use, let's say right after they get out of the water or when they're heading home. At number six, organic soap. Most people nowadays are drawn to anything that's natural, anything that's handmade or anything that's labeled as organic, which makes organic soap one of the biggest sellers in the skincare industry right now. 
People use soap every single day, multiple times a day, whether that be to wash their hands or to wash their body. Because they're using this product every single day, multiple times, they wanna make sure they have something that's not gonna affect their skin in a negative way. And anything that's labeled organic, for the most part, has a pretty good reputation behind it to be overall just good for you. At number seven, we have moisturizer. Now, moisturizer is also one of those kind of like body oil that you put on your skin to either hydrate, moisturize, or to take advantage of any vitamins and minerals that it may have. Now, again, just like the body oil, when I touch it, it makes me all icky. <laughs> I can't stand how this stuff feels. But don't let that stop you from selling it because as you can see, if you go to the store, it's lined with different types of moisturizers, all of which are severely overpriced. So using some of the different suppliers that I'm gonna give you a little bit later on, you can find some better suppliers to find some even better products than what people are finding in the stores. But overall, moisturizers is one of those products that people have and use every single day. Moisturizers are very universal and more people use them simply because of what they are. So instead of these products being specifically for, let's say, women, you're going to have women, children, adults, old people, everyone using this. Now, at number eight, we have one that is actually more towards the other extreme, and that's going to be makeup essentials. Makeup is dope. Now, when I'm talking about makeup essentials, I'm talking about pretty much anything that you can really just put on your skin that can start anywhere from concealers to blush to bronzers and more. Now, the reason that this is on here is because lately there's actually been some kind of crossover products, I guess you can say, that on top of being good for your skin or just being overall natural and healthy for your skin with different types of vitamins and minerals, there have been some new makeup products like concealers that are including all of these different properties in them. So that way it's a lot more comfortable to wear throughout the entire day. <laughs> Do you guys smell that? Not me neither. I guess I did use the organic deodorant this morning. So at number nine, we have organic deodorant. Now, for some reason, there's a huge stigma around organic deodorant and people say that it doesn't work. But this is the perfect opportunity to prove that it does work. So you can start coming up with different types of content to be able to market a product like this. So that way you can expand your customer base. So going back to the point I made earlier about people preferring things that are organic, handmade, and overall all natural, organic deodorant is one of those products that is flying off the shelves because again, this is something that you use every single day, sometimes even multiple times a day. Now at number 10, we have face exfoliators. Now, for those of you that don't know what exfoliating does is it really just takes off all that dead skin off of your face or really off of anywhere on your body. And it just pretty much brings everything anew. So it takes off or it exfoliates that dead or dirty layer of skin to expose the brand new one underneath. Now, this in itself has tons of different benefits, but at the same time, something like this could be kind of abrasive to some people and it could cause a little bit of irritation. Now, this is something that's known. People know that this happens because it's just the nature of the product and the nature of, well, what it does. So because of that, what people do is they'll exfoliate and then they'll put a moisturizer on top, which this in itself actually gives you the perfect opportunity to be able to upsell or to include a product as frequently bought together. In this case being a facial exfoliator and a moisturizer. Now at number 11, we have one product that I personally sometimes use a little bit of and then use a lot of because I'm pretty sure all of you have noticed. And taking a look at some of the comments in our how to start dropshipping on TikTok video, a lot of you found it funny that my hair just ranges from very little to very long. So because of that, I can give you my personal opinion on shampoos and conditioners. Now, when it comes to shampoo, there's different types of shampoos and conditioners for different types of hair and for different goals. Some of these are to get rid of itchiness. Others are to promote better hair growth. Some others are to get rid of dandruff. But overall, the main thing on all of these is to get clean and to promote healthy hair, at least on the shampoo side of things. On the conditioner side of things, that's mainly to soften up your hair for the most part. And of course, include any extra vitamins and minerals. Now, when it comes to this product, you want to offer some that are for different age ranges. You want to offer some that are for kids and some that are for adults. The reason for this is because the ones for adults don't really work too well for the ones for kids because a kid is going to open up their eyes, get that soap or shampoo in their eyes, and it's just going to burn and they're going to scream through oblivion. So make sure you offer some tier free options as well. You don't necessarily have to market it towards kids, but mention that it is tier free just in case it gets in somebody's eyes. And that leads me to number 12, which is baby approved products. So there's nothing more sensitive or important at this point than a baby's skin. When a baby is born throughout their first few years of life, throughout their first 10, 12 years of life, they have very smooth and seamless skin. 
So parents want to make sure that they protect that skin at all costs. Have you ever heard the term as smooth as a baby's butt? My skin feels like a baby's ass. Well, to be completely honest with you, I don't know why they reference a baby's butt. But at the end of the day, overall, a baby's skin is very smooth and very sensitive. And that can pose potential problems if you use products with some harsh chemicals in them. You want to make sure that you offer products that are organic and, most importantly, hypoallergenic. At number 13, we have pregnancy safe products. Did you know that when you're pregnant or when a woman is pregnant, you can't use a lot of different things? Well, we found that out when my wife got pregnant a few years ago that there's certain types of creams that you can't use. There's eye drops. You can't use eye drops. There's certain shampoos that you should avoid. She wasn't supposed to be using that spray shampoo anymore. There's an insane amount of limitations. So when somebody's pregnant, a lot of the times they're looking for pregnancy safe specific items. So it's very important that you make these things clear. Now, most of these products at the end of the day are going to be products that are going to be organic and just have overall safe ingredients. Things like aloe vera, vitamin C, vitamin E, shea butter, and a few more. At number 14, we have beard and shaving essentials. This beard will be more luxurious. Another one of those products that you sometimes see that I've used. Most of the time you don't because I like my beard. But grooming products are huge, not just for men, but for women as well. Now, when it comes to these products in particular, you have a huge possibility to be able to bundle them together. So let's say for me in particular, I can go to a store and I can look for shaving needs. I can look for something to shave my beard so I can start looking for, let's say, a few razors. But on top of that, I'm going to need a few more things. I'm going to need maybe moisturizers to make sure that my skin is good afterwards. I am also going to need, let's say, maybe aftershave. Another option is going to be things like beard oils. Maybe I just want to trim my beard and make my beard healthy. So when it comes to shaving essentials, there's quite a bit of different products to choose from. And at number 15, we have an organic cosmetic kit. Now this kit is going to include a bunch of different products. So you're going to have serums, creams, topical ointments, a little bit of everything. Now the point behind this is to be able to offer different types of kits. So one kit for, let's say your beard, another kit that's going to be for dry skin, maybe one that'll help you remedy oily skin, and so on. Now, let's talk a little bit about the different types of suppliers that we can work with in order to source our different skincare products, specifically our own branded private label skincare products. And the first one is going to be the AutoDS private suppliers. Now, if you're not subscribed to AutoDS just yet, if you haven't joined the AutoDS family, but you've been thinking about it and you're kind of on the fence, then you can take advantage of our trial period and sign up right now for just $1 for the next two weeks. Once you do that, you can connect your Shopify store, eBay store, Amazon store, wherever it is that you're dropshipping on, and you can take advantage of full automation. On top of that, you get access to tons of different private suppliers, all of which have been vetted by AutoDS to ensure quality and most importantly, speedy shipping. Now, once you're signed up and logged into the AutoDS platform, you're gonna be greeted with the AutoDS marketplace. On here, you're gonna see tons of different products in quite the variety of niches. Now, what we wanna do here is we wanna specify our supplier. So this page gives you suppliers from AutoDS, AliExpress, and Amazon. But if you wanna specify just AutoDS suppliers, so that way you can check out our private suppliers, just click on that. And then it's gonna filter everything out specifically for our private suppliers. Now, when you're on here, what you want to do is you want to start looking for customizable branding. If you see the option for customizable branding, that means that once you click into it, let's say this one right here, you're going to have this option over here, create your customizable branding. What this means is that your product is going to be shipped with a custom thank you card and on your invoice, your logo is also going to appear. So you're going to have the option to ship your products branded. Now, I know we were talking about the skincare niche, so we want to look for products that are in that particular niche. So thankfully on the AutoDS marketplace, we have the option to search for that. So we can simply just look for, let's say organic. Maybe we can find a whole bunch of different type of organic skincare products. But I just realized organic can mean a lot of things. There's a lot of different types of products that are organic, including clothing. So let's Let's look for actually you know what never mind look at the first one right here tallow and raw honey all-purpose soap so this one doesn't have the option for the customizable branding but we can keep looking there we go so here we have this one which is a shave soap and then we also have a charcoal soap which does have the option for customizable branding and we have quite a bit more so as you can see through the auto ds private suppliers you have access to a ton of different resources now on top of that Joining AutoDS not only has the benefits for the suppliers, but you can also automate your entire dropshipping process. From importing your products to fulfilling your orders, everything is done for you. So let's say you did wanna add this charcoal soap to your store. All you have to do 
is click on import draft and that's it. Now it's going to go to the draft section where you can go ahead and click to edit it and you can modify anything that you need from the title to the collections. If you're selling on Shopify or categories, if you're selling on eBay to the description, the different types of variations and even the images. Now, as an added bonus, you can actually use AI to optimize both your title and your description directly on the page. So looking through here, let's just click on optimize description and you can choose a tone even. So you can go ahead and make it sound more professional, more sellable, maybe a bit more funny, or even optimize it for things like your Instagram or Facebook page. At number two, we have Dr. HC Cosmetics. Now on Dr. HC, what you get is eco-friendly solutions in the skincare business. So you have eco-friendly skincare products. Now, one of the best features about the supplier is the fact that you don't have any minimum order quantities. So you can go ahead and order just one product of whatever it is that you need if you need to. So if your customer just wants one sunscreen, then they have the option to do that. Although taking shipping into consideration, that's going to be a pretty expensive sunscreen. So you might want to offer them something else to go along with it, like a moisturizer. Now, as far as their shipping fees, they do have free shipping as long as you order over $100. So if you can bundle up enough products together, you can also take advantage of that free shipping and either increase your profits a little bit or simply pass on those savings to your customer. Now, there is a price that you need to pay in order to use their drop shipping private labeling services, and that is going to come at $49 a month. Now, as far as their location, they're pretty local. They're actually based in California. Although it's not really local to me because they're across the country, they are local in my country. Now, as far as the different types of items that they sell, for the most part, they have makeup, bath items, hair care products, and body care products. Next up at number three, we have Pravada Private Label. Now, they do require a minimum order, and that is of 50 units. As far as their shipping and their pricing, that's something that you're going to have to contact them about. They don't have it publicly available on their website, but you can shoot them over an email. As far as their location, they're actually located in Florida and they primarily sell skincare products, including things like moisturizers, serums, cleansers, and even fragrances. Next up, we have Blanca Beauty that specializes in makeup and skincare products. Now, Blanca does not have a minimum order. So if you need just one lipstick, you can order just one lipstick. As far as shipping, they typically charge about $9 to the US, $16 for Europe, and $20 anywhere else in the world. Now, Blanca is located in Canada and they do have a monthly subscription fee of $26. Jubilee Beauty is up next and their minimum order quantity is five units. Now, as far as their shipping options, they have quite a few different ones to choose from, but really it's going to vary based on the weight of your order and the pricing is going to be anywhere between one to about $10 as far as the shipping costs. Now, as far as the pricing for the actual website to be able to drop ship their products, then you are looking at a monthly fee of about $29 per month. Now, as far as the location, they don't have a specific location set, but they are based out of the United States. Now, as far as their most popular products, you're going to be finding products like body care, fragrances, skincare, eye makeup, and multiple types of accessories. At number six, we have Bellis All Natural Labs. Now they have over 40 different pre-made formulas ready to ship, ready to accept your branding. Now, as far as their minimum order quantity, you can expect a minimum order quantity of 125 units. So in order to drop ship one of their products, you're going to have to purchase 125 of them and ship those as orders come in. As far as their shipping and handling, that's really going to depend on your business. They base this off of how much demand they have from you. So if you have more orders, then chances are you're going to have some better shipping rates. Now, as far as their pricing, when it comes to being able to use their website and overall their general pricing for their products, this is something you're going to have to reach out to them for. They don't have it publicly available on their website. The location, they're actually not that far from me. They're based out of New Jersey in the US. Now, as far as their top products, some of the most popular ones that you're going to find on there are going to include things like serums, lip products, toners, and cleansing balms. And last but not least, we have All Natural Health and Beauty. Now, as far as their minimum order quantity, this is really going to depend on your needs. So how customized is the product? How many options do you need to add on to it? What features do you need? This is all going to factor into your minimum order quantity. So if you want an exact amount, you are going to have to reach out to them with a few specifics. So that way they can give you an accurate quote as far as pricing for the products and a minimum order quantity. Now shipping, same thing. They offer quite a few different variations, but for more information, you're going to have to reach out to them. And honestly, the same goes for the pricing in order to find out how much they charge for their website. It's all going to be tailored to your needs. So just hit them up, send them over an email and see what they have to offer for you specifically. Now, as far as where they're based out of, they're located in Florida in the US and they have some interestingly unique products. So for one, they have Moroccan argan oil 
and barberry fig seed oil. So these are some pretty specific products that could be very niche based. A lot of people could be searching for these within the skincare niche. So it's worth a shot to look into. And that is pretty much everything that you need from your products to your different types of suppliers to get started with private labeling your skincare products and overall starting a skincare brand. What did you think of this video? Did you enjoy it? Let me know down in the comments below. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet with everything I talked about in today's video, including all of the different links to the suppliers and the products, then make sure you comment down below the hashtag dropshipping and let me know what your takeaway was from this video. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means a lot to me. My name is Mario with AutoDS. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll catch you all next time.